I want to talk to you guys about this awesome new wallet that I got. I really love it. Um, it's got this great leather feel to it. It looks beautiful, but one of the best things about it is that it has a built-in spot to put an Apple AirTag, which everybody uses now to track all of their um, all of their belongings. And I think that's a really great way to add a little peace of mind, a little security to something that's as important as a wallet. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys these details up close, um, but I do want to show you guys uh, just kind of how it looks. Um, it's great. It's got a lot of magnets in that are built in, so like quick closing. Um, it's got this awesome little uh, way to access credit cards um, instead of just having to pull them all out, fumble through it. It's got tons of different um, windows for IDs and for badges. If you use badges at work a lot, um, this is a great wallet. It has lots of different build-ins for that as well, um, different window pictures. Again, we we'll into all this next. I'll show you guys. Uh, the wallet up close, we'll get into it, um, and we can talk a little bit more about the features also. Um, but one of the things I do want to point out is that it does have um, the blocking uh, technology in here, which is great uh, because sometimes, you know, you want that little extra security, making sure people are using uh, card readers and things like that. So having that RFD blocking technology kind of built into your wallet is a little extra security as well. So those are a couple of the highlights I really like about it. But I do want to show you guys the wallet up close. We talk about the craftsmanship. I'll show you how to get the Apple AirTag in and out, and then also the slide feature, um, as well as all of the different little window cutouts. So here is our wallet up close. Well, things I first noticed about it is just how soft it is. Um, it feels really great in your hands. Um, here's that Apple. Uh, AirTag. Um, it does have room in the back here also if you wanted to add a little um, business cards or some like some thin cards and things like that. Um, but if we want to, let's go ahead, I'll pop this out and then I'll show you guys how to add it back in. Really simple to do. You can kind of see here that there's a little cutout in the top. This built-in area is just the right size for an AirTag not to slide around. It gets um, perfectly put in there. You can kind of still see the emblem. Um, so that's clearly what it's designed for, which is a really nice feature. I mentioned the card function, which is great. Um, with this little slide here, and then it kind of puts all of your cards up and it kind of throws them out in this way that you kind of are able to kind of access the ones you need and you just push them back down. Uh, so it's a really cool function. That's a great card organizer. Um, I like these slides here. I like the fact that they give you a little bit of the window cutout, or I use these as finger slides, making it really easy to access your card. Um, here again, you have another little window pocket here. Driver's license or badge ID um, is a great way to kind of keep things nice and organized. Again, same thing in the back here, right? You can access any of these. You also have a little area in the back for cash. And then even more pockets here in the back. So if you were going to not use the slide organizer or if you just have a lot of different cards, this is a great wallet that will keep everything nice and safe. But also, too, having the ability to track it with a built-in Apple ID is pretty awesome. So all in all, it's a pretty great wallet and I'm really excited about it.